What happens when a once merciful mutant loses herself to a dark destructive force? Find out when we light it up with the Dark Phoenix Saga on Marvel's Long Story. This again. Doesn't everyone already know this story? Well, what do you think this episode should be about? How about everything before? You know, when I had the Phoenix Force, but I wasn't wiping out universes or wearing red and yellow jumpsuits? All right, get ready to learn all about the Phoenix Saga on Marvel's Long Story Short. How would you like it if everyone was always obsessing over the worst thing you've ever done? Our story starts in space where the X-Men Starcore space shuttle was about to crash into Earth after running into the largest solar storm in history. Can I get a co-pilot up here? Unfortunately, Jean was forced to steer the ship herself while the rest of the X-Team hung out in a life cell, since only she could absorb the intense radiation. You're doing great, Jean. I could kill those guys right now. You said you didn't want to do that story arc. Jean managed to crash the ship into Long Island's Jamaica Bay, and almost everyone was okay. X-Men, everyone okay? I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. Bob. Everyone except for Jean herself. Oh no, Jean! The rest of the X-Men thought Jean had died until... X-Men, no longer am I the woman you knew. I am fire and life incarnate. I am Phoenix. Oh, didn't see that one coming, Bob. Jean had been possessed by the Phoenix Force, a cosmic entity of great power who responded to her psychic cries for help when the ship was crashing. But for the time being, all the X-Men knew was that she had gained some amazing new powers. <gasps> Jean. Jean went into a coma after fainting, which really bummed out the rest of the team. Jean, I was just about to tell you I love you. Jean, I was too. Seriously? Totally. So Professor X came up with a foolproof plan to cheer everyone up. You're going on vacation! While Scott and Professor X stayed behind to help Jean recover, the rest of the team headed to Ireland for some much-needed R&R. Ireland, I packed for the beach. But once they got there, they were ambushed by Black <laughs> Tom Cassidy and Juggernaut. <laughs> some vacation. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the States, Jean Grey is recovering. She's even moved into a new apartment. It has everything. Two beds, a bath, and a view of the city. All in one room. But that all got interrupted when Princess Lalandra of the Shi'ar Empire appeared in her living room. Jean Grey of the X-Men. I am Princess Lalandra, and I need your help to save the universe. Please leave your tiny apartment and come with me. We're in Greenwich Village. This is huge. Lalandra was trying to stop the evil Emperor Deken from possessing the ultimate power in the universe, the M-Cran Crystal. But Deken had already sent a secret agent to Earth to try and destroy the X-Men before Lalandra could get to them. He even enlisted the help of some of the X-Men's greatest villains. I was wondering when this would come back into play. The X-Men agree to help Lalandra, so Jean Grey opens a Stargate back to her home world. But when they got there, the power of the M-Cran Crystal had already been activated by the alignment of the Death Stars. Oh yeah, that happens every million years. Didn't I tell you guys? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The crystal explodes, blinking out all of existence for just a second. But Jean uses the power of the Phoenix to repair the crystal and sets everything back to normal. What a happy ending. Hey, we love an upbeat conclusion here on Marvel's Long Story Short. Of course, using that power would soon lead Jean down a darker path when she teamed up with the Hellfire Club, became the Dark Phoenix, defeated the X-Men, ate a star causing it to go supernova, destroying an entire planet and was deemed a greater threat to the universe than Galactus. You just had to say it. Story's over. Roll the credits. <laughs>